नमस्कार एवरीबडी वेलकम टू एस वी एम स्कूल एक्सपेरेंटियल लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म दस्टी क्रोस द एक्सपेरेंटियल लर्निंग इज अ वेरी वेरी एडवांस प्रोसेस ऑफ लर्निंग इट इंगेज द स्टूडेंट्स इन हैंड ऑन एक्सपीरियंस एंड रिफ्लेक्शन इट प्रोग्रेस इन थ्री स्टेजेस नॉलेज एक्टिविटी एंड एनालिसिस आर टू डेज एक्टिविटी इज प्रेजेंट ब्रीफली ऑन आर नॉलेज an analysis of india's moon mission chandrayaan 3 this activity is in the form of discussion and the panelist in the discussion are khushbu bhumika yashwantanistha the students of 9th class of our school please watch record and share it congratulations audience our third lunar exploration mission the chandrayaan 3 has successfully landed on the moon we are the fourth country to do so after the us russia and china we have our panelists to know more about it first of all we would like to know from yashwant bro how big is this achievement since it is bigger than you mentioned yes it is true that india is the fourth country to land its spacecraft on the moon but india is the first country to land its spacecraft on the moon south pole and it is a challenging for us because none of the country had dare to do so so it is a greater achievement of the india that compared to those countries this tha chandrayaan 3 as its name suggest was the third moon mission of india so what about the other two could you throw some light on it sure sir our late prime minister ap vajpay announced the chandrayaan program in 2003 Chandrayaan first it was launched from Satish Dhawan Space Center in 2008 but unfortunately it crashed near the south pole since it had a great significance it confirms the presence of water molecules on the surface of moon on the other hand if i talk about the launching of Chandrayaan second Chandrayaan second was launched in 2019 along with Vikram lander but unfortunately it also lost its communication from the ground station and it also crashed thus this crashes crashed the hopes of all the nation bhumika the soft landing of vikram lander was crucial for the success of chandrayaan mission 3 what do you mean by soft landing kushu soft landing means gentle and controlled landing and there is no damage to space craft another question that strikes to my mind is why did isro choose the moon south pole for landing its spacecraft when it was highly challenging to my mind there were two reasons firstly by doing isro wanted to explore unexplored area and secondly it wanted to showcase technical capabilities yes sir your final reaction to this grand feat of india good os to our space scientist what would you like to say about the political leadership of our prime minister modi of course it is seminal it is political will that always impulse such accomplishment this tha what is your take on it just as modi hai to mumkin hai with this our today's discussion comes to an end keep watching the svm thrusty crows for such more experiential learning thanks for watching